for those of you that have been with us for the last few years, it looks like we uh, lucked out with some balmy weather. I know it's been cold and snowing in the past, uh, but today looks like a beautiful day. It's a nice way for a remembrance. Some of the people that are here today, we have our Office of Emergency Management Director, Mr. Ferrante, Chief of the Department, Keith Weaver. We also have the Deputy Permanent Representative of the Russian Federation, Mr. Dmitry Trumakov. And also I'd like to recognize the Deputy Permanent Representative of the Syrian Arab Republic, Dr. Falou. And also a very special thank you to Mr. Kevin Maynard, who's behind me. I also want to recognize Father Fensig. He's been here every year with us, braving the cold. The last person I want to thank is the co-director of the Schiller Institute, Diane Saar, who without her, none of this happens. On behalf of the Bayonne Fire Department and the city of Bayonne, we welcome you all to today's ceremony. Father Fensick, would you please do the invocation? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, O Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere present and fill all things, treasure your blessings and giver of life, come and dwell within us, cleanse of all stain, and save our souls, O gracious Lord. This is the prayer that is traditionally said at the beginning of any type of function that, that involves the Russian people. We pray that we are gathered here today in memory of those departed members of the Alexandrov Choir and those who departed with them this life on, in December of 2016. We pray that God give them eternal rest in this heavenly mansion. We pray that this ceremony retains their memory and brings us all to life everlasting. Amen.
Thank you all very much. That was beautiful. Um, I'm going to introduce uh, Chief Weaver, who wants to say a few words as well. Uh, professionally, he is my chief, he's my boss, uh, but I'm honored personally to say that he is my friend. Chief Weaver. Good morning to everyone in attendance today. I am grateful for this opportunity to say a few words in honor of the lives lost on Christmas Day 2016. Today we pause to remember and honor the tragic loss of the Alexandra Ensemble. The loss of this extremely talented group was a loss for the entire globe. I am honored to be speaking at this fitting site as this teardrop memorial was donated to our city from our world neighbors in Russia. The gift is a reminder that although we may be separated by nationality, we are united in humanity. As brothers and sisters, your grief and also share in your heart for a brighter future for all of mankind. Midlands lost tragic day three years ago. Rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Uh, Mr. Trumakov now will have a few words to say. Dimitri. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, we are very pleased to welcome all those of you who have joined us today in the memory of the Alexandrov Ensemble, the victims of the plane crash that happened on the 26th of December 2016, just a couple of days from today, three years ago. It was a legendary ensemble, media workers from Russian TV channels and famous philanthropist Elizaveta Glinka. They were bringing to Syria the Christmas mood. They were bringing it to a war-torn country and it was a big tragedy and loss. The Russian mission is grateful to the Schiller Institute, to the fire department, the city of Bayonne. Without you, this event would not be possible. It's becoming a tradition. We are getting together for the third time now, and this is a great honor for us to share this human feelings and to share with you the losses, compassion, this memorial is a memorial event is a great example of human contact and solidarity between our countries. The Alexander Ensemble uh, has been reconstituted. We just want you to know that uh, the new performers are implementing the projects that have been set up before. We also want you to know that the humanitarian projects started by Elizaveta Glinka are implemented by her followers. And it's also important to say that we're still making a lot of efforts to bring peace to Syria and to help Syria and to help the political settlement in this country. It is only with political settlement the problems can be solved. We, once again, best tribute to these brave and merciful people who are our modern-day heroes, new symbols of patriotism and humanity are given by us today. May their souls rest in peace and thank you very much for joining us today. We are here once again to give our condolences and sympathy to the families of the Alexandrov Ensemble and to the people of Russia. Everyone here proves, I believe, that this small remembrance shows our humanity towards one another. And God knows we could use more of that. Once again, it's fitting that we're here at the teardrop because the creator of this structure was the Russian sculptor, Zorab Tersoratelli. In the darkness after 9-11, this monument helped to bring peace and the light of hope to the many people who visited here. We now wish to pay that forward back to the Russian people and the families of the Alexandrov Ensemble. May the serenity and hope that I feel when I am here be conveyed back to the people of Russia. Music has meaning, 
And this quote from Billy Joel conveys that better than anything I could ever say. Quote, I think music in itself is healing. It's an explosive expression of humanity. It's something we are all touched by. No matter where we are from, everyone loves music. It is times like this that we are neither Americans nor Russians nor Syrians, but we are just human beings who genuinely wish peace and happiness to one another. Once again, I will try to convey my thoughts in Russian. Dmitry, I've been practicing. Hopefully this gets it through. Nasha Leobov i Molovitsi s vami. Hraini vas kashpot. It is now my honor to introduce Mr. Kevin Maynor. He has sung with the Metropolitan Opera, the Lyric Opera of Chicago, and many others. Mr. Maynor was the first apprentice artist from the West to study at the Bolshoi in Moscow, where he studied and sang. He will also now share a few words with you. Thank you. Once more, once again, still once more, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't think anybody can talk about the Alexandrov Ensemble or think of the great Russian army chorus and not think of the great Volga boat song. This is a great song that was meant to encourage, sung by the Volga boatmen. I think of, of the Volga River, which I had the pleasure of seeing in the year 2000, 2001, upon my return to Russia. My first experience, of, of course, was in 1979, 1980. And the Russian people embraced me with a certain kind of love that I will never, ever forget. I love them dearly. From the bottom of my heart, there's no base in the world, no base in the world, no singing base in the world that does not admire the training and the beauty of the great Russian basses and the great Russian singers. I thank these people for the contributions that they have made to the world regardless of the confusion or the politics that might be involved between countries. One thing for sure, music it is true, it is the healing source. It is the language that we all speak and understand. And when we don't understand one another, we learn to appreciate, which is the key actually to bringing people closer together, appreciation for one another. I want to take the time to sing for you a spiritual, one that was sung by the great Paul Robeson, who was a great singer, one that many admired, certainly the Russian people admired. He sang this song amongst them, and I want to sing it for you all. It's called, There is a Balm in Gilead. There is a balm in to make the wounded whole, there is a balm in Gilead to heal the sin-sick soul. Sometimes I feel discouraged and think my work's in vain. And then the Holy Spirit rev 
revives my soul again. There is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a balm in Gilead to heal the sin sick soul. If you can preach like Peter, if you can pray like Paul, go home and tell your neighbor who died to save us all. There is a ball in Gilead. To make the wounded a whole, there is a ball in Gilead to heal a sin sick soul. To the sin sick soul. God bless the Alexandrov Ensemble. God bless their mission. God bless all of you all that have gathered here today. Thank you very much, Mr. Maynard. Uh, I, I do have to say that probably is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Thank you. And now uh, Diane Saar, uh, the founder and co-director of the Schiller Institute, New York City Course, will have a few words. That was amazing. Thank you. I first have greetings from Helga Zepp LaRouche, the founder of the Schiller Institute. She writes, I extend my greetings to all of you gathered today to commemorate the lives of the 92 passengers who died when the Russian TU-154 crashed into the Black Sea on December 25th, 2016. 64 singers of the Alexandrov Ensemble, plus the crew of the plane, members of the Russian military, Russian journalists, and the beloved relief worker, Dr. Elizaveta Glinka, all perished that winter night while flying to give Christmas comfort and cheer to soldiers who were battling to liberate Syria from the terrorist scourge of ISIS. Each of the people on that plane was like the Good Samaritan that Schiller writes about in his Callias Essays on the Beautiful. In Schiller's story, several people stopped by the side of the road to help the injured man, but some wanted money, some wanted recognition and to look better than someone else who didn't stop. But only one person stopped who very naturally and happily put down his own load to carry the injured man without a second thought. The people on this plane were like those Samaritans that Schiller talked about. In 2020, the world will celebrate the 75th anniversary of the defeat of the Nazi terror in May of 1945. At that time, people vowed never again. And now, 75 years later, mankind is again threatened with the danger of cultural decadence and even potentially a great war. As Schiller said, it is only through aesthetic education, through great classical art, that the ennoblement of man can occur. It is time that mankind grew into a new paradigm where, as the great poets Shelley and Schiller proposed, the poets and artists become the natural leaders of the age. That's from Mrs. LaRouche, and I have a short statement from myself, if that's okay, and the chorus. Uh, I wanted to say that on behalf of our chorus, a chorus is a very special thing. It is a group 
of diverse individuals who discover through the art of a great composer that th their diversity becomes their strength. Our chorus had just existed for a couple of years when I received the news on Christmas Day 2016 of the crash of the Red Army Chorus, and it was like getting punched in the stomach. Some of us quickly enlisted the help of a Russian-American chorus member to learn how to pronounce the words to the Russian national anthem, and we went to the consulate and sang it outside on the sidewalk. I then learned that the NYPD ceremonial unit had been deeply moved by the ensemble at the military band's tattoo in Quebec City in 2011, which had happened to fall on the 10th anniversary of 9-11. A wonderful baritone, Grigory Osipov, sang God Bless America, which they performed as a gift to the NYPD, and a young boy came forward and presented director Lieutenant Tony Giorgio with a single white rose. Grigory Osipov's name is on the list of those who perished. The United States, Russia, and Syria have all suffered the devastating effects of terrorism, but I am optimistic that perhaps the warm weather that we are having today, at least relatively warm, may be a sign of the warmth of the friendship that our nations and peoples may share in our musical dialogue. The church teaches us that as long as we keep a person's memory alive, they are still with us. And it is traditional at the end of any memorial service that the hymn Eternal Memory is sung in the Russian Vichnaya Pamyat. And so we will conclude this memorial service with the prayer for the departed and the singing of the memorial hymn. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who has conquered Satan and vanquished death and have granted life to your world, dear Lord, give rest to the souls of all of your departed servants in a peaceful, serene, and luxuriant place, which all pain, sorrow, and sighing are absent. As a good and gracious God who loves mankind, do you forgive all transgressions committed by them in word, deed, or thought, voluntarily through human frailty? For there is no man living who does not sin. You alone are without sin. Your truth is truth in eternity, and your word alone reality. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of all of your departed servants, O Christ our God. We render you glory together, the eternal Father, and your holy, gracious, and life granting spirit, now and ever and forever, amen. In blessed repose, grant eternal rest, O Lord, to the souls of your faithful departed, and make eternal their memory, Isatorim Vichnuyopamyat. Thank you all very much for coming today. Uh, Mr. Kumatala, Dr. Kamo, would you please bring the wreath up to the monument? And uh, we appreciate everybody for coming here. The Honor Guard, all our people that showed up today. Chief Weaver, thank you very much. Uh, this concludes the ceremony. Thank you all.
You bring the brief up. Yeah, don't forget your coffee cup. Thank you very much, yeah. nice that we're all here together. Oh, I was, yeah. His voice is incredible. Oh, it's unbelievable. I love the sound of the whole thing. Diane, can I get a picture with you? Yeah. 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 Yeah.